everyone. So, one of the biggest health problems in America is actually back pain. So, when my dad reached out to me looking for some exercises, I thought I would share them with all of you because almost anyone is going to get some benefit from this. There are a couple of reasons why back pain is so prevalent. One of the first reasons is because all of us have started to slouch forward. It may not be that pronounced, but you don't realize it while you're sitting at the computer, while you're driving, you're slowly rotating in. So you're causing stress on the back because it needs to be upright for everything to be elongated and for there not to be pressure on your discs. The other thing that's happening while we're sitting is we're creating tightness. So these muscles start to get tight, which means you're tucking forward. So we're gonna work on stretching these. But that now is putting pressure here. So now we're curved here and here. So it's obviously not this exaggerated. You'd probably notice yourself like this. But that's what's happening. And so instead of your spine being straight all the time, You've got these subtle curves, which are creating that tightness. Now with any of these back exercises, the goal is to be gentle. So we're trying to create some stability and endurance in your muscles. This is not about strength. Do not push through the moves. They should not hurt at all. Stop if they do. And as always, consult a physician if you're having a lot of pain or before adding these to your routine. Let's get started. Okay, the first exercise that we're gonna do is actually the most important. If it's the only exercise that you can make time to do, try to do this every day. So, really important. we're gonna come down on the floor, all the way down on the floor, and actually for a lot of you, this alone, you may find relieves quite a bit of pressure. So, you're just allowing your spine to straighten out, but with no pressure on it. What you wanna do is called a push-up or flexion. So most of what we talked about is the curving. We're gonna do the opposite of that. So think about when you were a kid and you used to lay on the floor and watch TV. That's what we're doing. Come up onto your elbows. There should be no tightness, no pressure in your back whatsoever. You are really just coming up. Don't push up just come up. The key here, however, is that your shoulders need to stay back. It's really easy to come up on this position and still sort of collapse forward. You're not getting any benefit there. Come up, shoulders back. It's easiest, obviously, if you're sort of looking forward. You can sort of think about pulling your shoulder blades together if you're trying to figure out how to keep those shoulders back. That's an easy mental way to do it. And then truly hang out here for a while watch TV. A good five minutes would be an ideal time to work up to. You certainly don't have to start there. For now, you could come up and then come back down and then come back up again. Over time, as you progress, you can do some of the yoga postures you see where they're pushing up farther, but those really are more advanced. So if you're having any pain right now, just start with coming For the up. next set of exercises, you're just going to need a chair. So any chair that is probably a kitchen chair, folding chair, you can even use a sofa. They're all about the right height. What you want to be able to do is get your body at a 90 degree angle. So 90 degrees, palms open to the sky. So again, what you're allowing your body to do is you're allowing your shoulders to fall back. You're releasing a lot of tension in this lower back. So this is great for lower back, hip issues. It's good really for your entire back. All you have to do is lay here. These exercises are really pretty awesome actually. So stay here for a couple of minutes and then Actually, there's a couple other things you can do while you're here. So you do need to relax. You have to just let yourself be here for a few minutes. Then, reaching overhead like this. Go only as far as is comfortable for you. But again, it's stretching those upper back muscles. 
So after you've done maybe 10, 20 repetitions of that, the other thing you can do is think of pulling your shoulder blades together. So do about 10 or 20 of those. So you're creating that additional strength up there in your shoulders so that throughout the day they stay back rather than curving forward. Once you've done those exercises, time to relax again. Palms up to the sky and just lay. Okay, so while you've got the chair out, there are a couple of other things you can do. These could also be great things for you to do at work throughout the day. With the lower back, it's actually really important to sort of move it consistently throughout the day. That's going to be more helpful than just spending 10 minutes doing exercises at some point. So there's some easy things like some rounding forward, coming back. So you're just sort of gently allowing your spine to flex. It's been a long time since you've tried to just bend over and reach your toes. This is a great way to sort of warm your back up for that. You can also do it twist to the side. So imagine you're bringing a shoulder to your knee. And then on top of that, we do need to work these rotators. They're really important for keeping us stable and upright. So taking your opposite hand to knee, twisting all the way, look over that back shoulder. And what you can actually do there is work on doing like 10 reps, that kind of warms you up. And then you could actually hold it for 30 seconds. And that'll make the stretch a little bit deeper. But just those consistent going back and forth is going to be really important. After that, if you want to work that core a little bit more, arms out to the side, bend. Now when I want to come back up, this side should be pulling me up. So I'm not going very far, but it's plenty far enough that as soon as I want to come back up, I have to engage that muscle. The last area we want to touch on is the tightness that I mentioned from all that sitting. So standing, you can work on just coming into a single leg lunge. You're focusing on feeling it here. This is where you want to feel the stretch. So you might feel it in your calf, you might feel it here, just because you're moving your legs a little bit, but really your focus is here. So sometimes the easiest way to deepen the stretch is if you can get all the way down, you start with this knee down, and then you reach forward. This is going to help you really deepen that stretch. So you might start by standing up, getting used to it, and then do this to sort of get into it a little bit more. Also, if you still have that chair around, another good way to do this that really helps you get into that muscle without hurting anything is to put one foot up and then come forward for a second, come back, come forward, come back. After you've rocked forward, three or four times you've started to warm that muscle up, so then you can just come forward and stay here for a minute. It's really important, like we said, to loosen this muscle up just as much as your back because it's going to help with some of that rounding that's happening that you can't control just from sitting all day. These muscles have to so be So there you go. Out. Working your back doesn't have to be hard or painful, it just takes a little bit of time and consistency. Definitely after a couple of weeks, you should start to notice improvements.